Today I'm gonna talk about what to pack when going studying abroad in general, but specifically Japan because I went there. So what I packed, I didn't pack a lot. I didn't pack like a lot. What I thought wasn't a lot, but I could have probably packed it less. So I mostly packed clothes. And then that was one of my regrets. Like I did, I the clothes I brought, I wore, I wore all of it. But I just didn't really need any of it. I wish I packed more American products, specifically like skincare, sunscreen. I was supposed to bring medicine, like cough medicine. But literally before my trip, everyone in my family got sick, so they drank all my medicine. And then I'm just like, YOLO, we'll just do it without. And so that's what. So yeah, I didn't bring any medicine besides like ibuprofen, which I guess what got me through because I got like sick three times over there. I brought like f four pairs of shoes. I bring a pair of going out shoes because you're going to be going out a lot. You can, if you do a lot of hiking, obviously bring your hiking shoes. I <clears throat> just stick with my white shoes or I just stick with tennis shoes or whatever. Oh, and I brought my running shoes because I went to the gym a lot there and I ran around <coughs> I ran around there so I would definitely bring a pair of workout shoes brought my boots and then I brought two types of tennis shoes so I brought my white bands because they're white and then I brought my blue bands because I used them a lot like I just brought the shoes I knew I would use a lot so I brought those three and then a pair of sandals. I brought my Birkenstocks, so I suggest one of those or anything, especially if you're going during the summer. I went from mid-September to mid-December, so like half of it was still like hot and summery. So I suggest that. Cause where I went, I went to Nagoya and then right near Nagoya, there's like, they have a second street, which is like a thrift store. I'm from Arizona, so I don't really have like big puffy jackets. And then I'm so my friends and I we planned on going to Hokkaido, and it was like beginning of December, I think we went. And then uh, I didn't have like any winter jackets, so I went to Second Street, and then I found a nine dollar jacket. So honestly, don't even bother packing a lot of clothes if you're planning on buying over there. So. I would at least bring, you only need like one or two pajama sets. Like I survived on, I brought more, but I survived on like two. If you like continue, if you wash your clothes like every week, you're fine. At least a pair of black jeans and a pair of blue jeans, white wash denim. Those three are kind of speaking all you need. And then I brought other pants too because those were my three main pants, but then I have like some weird ass pants that I like like plaid and like trousers and stuff I brought some of those because a pair of blue and black shorts you're, you'll be fine well, make sure to keep your suitcase at least half empty that way you're you can bring a lot of stuff back I brought snacks food I didn't do a lot of clothes shopping there because honestly Japan is really expensive for what it is. So yeah, I would definitely bring American products because food, candy, like one of my friends, <coughs> he was Mexican and then um, his parents, they came over and then they brought like hot Cheetos and then they brought like Mexican candy. Lucky enough there was an inside Aeon Mon, they have an international like shop area with like international food and stuff. I was craving tortillas, they had tortillas there because I wanted a burrito. And then it's really expensive though, keep in mind. I wish I brought peanut butter because peanut butter over there is like six eight dollars a jar versus here it's two dollars a jar depending what brand you get cheese is like really expensive in general so eating cheese was a luxury over there um, pastas salsa olive oil um all that stuff french german american korean they had a lot of international foods but it was really expensive that's in general what i suggest you should bring to japan 
Okay. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.